coming up in today's video, guys, we've got a lot of peels in this ear canal, going right down the canal itself and over the eardrums with lots of dead skin coming away. My name is Reese Barber. I'm one of the audiologists here at Audiology Associates. Thank you very much for watching our Earwax Wealth Skin Removal in this case video today. Uh, apologies for the big gap in videos, guys. It is super duper busy here at the moment. I'm not getting a tremendous amount of time to uh, concentrate on the social media side of things. I will try and put them out as often as I can, but you'll have to bear with us a little bit at the moment. We have advertised for another audiologist to try and help with the workload. Uh, so yeah, bear with me, okay? Or bear with us, I should say, me and Taylor. So what we've got here is this really thick skin layer all the way around the ear canal, uh, going down over the eardrum as well. Now, this is quite an interesting case because this particular patient had their ear cleaned out, had this particular ear cleaned out about a month ago. So they had it done in, it was in the middle of February. So we're, we're, we know, it's probably about six weeks ago. And yet what we have here is this thick, dead skin layer that's really, really dark in color, and it's covering the entire canal wall and the eardrum itself. Now, there is a bit of a year history with this particular gentleman. Uh, he has got a mastoidectomy uh, he's had mastoidectomy done on the other ear. Uh, there is some history of ear surgery on this side, but this skin you can see is so, so dark. It looks really old, which is surprising considering it was only cleared out recently. So I think either it wasn't all cleared out and this is what we're seeing the remnants of here, or another thing that could have affected this, sometimes if patients have used uh, some antibiotic sprays, it can make the skin do this or it can, it can leave some infected debris behind, but there's no history of the patient using any medication on their ear canals either. Uh, so I'm a little bit of a loss as to what's going on here, uh, but we're gonna very gently start taking this away. You can see we've got these long strips to peel away here. And that's what we're doing with the forceps. I find personally find the forceps a lot easier to do this kind of work with than uh, say a suction tube. I will use the suction tubes to reposition this skin uh, just to get a better grip on it sometimes. But for the majority of this, we're gonna be using the forceps. You can see a lifting from the base of the canal here. Look how this is just peeling all the way down. Now this is actually over the eardrum as well. So we have got to be a little bit more cautious. You'll see it pulling further in there and this is going right the way from the front all the way to the back right the way down uh, over the eardrum as well so I'm just trying to take a lot of this away and just lift it and gently peel this away as well it's a very appealing See what I did there? Uh, video today, I'll get my coat. Uh, video today guys uh, and we've got to get this last little bit off here there we go. We've got that section at the base of the canal here. It's been holding on. Uh, it's not in the ideal position to get the forceps underneath. So I'm going to go here at the top and see if we can just give a gentle pull on this. Let's see where this goes. But it is anchored on in there. It really does not want to budge. So this patient actually didn't come through for any kind of removal. They didn't think they needed it because it was only done recently. Uh, they actually came through for a hearing test. Now the difficulty is if somebody has wax in their ears, like or skin in this case in the rear canal, and you can't see at least 70% of that drum, uh, you really should not be testing that patient. And we get this so much where patients have come through for to have wax removal done, where they've been uh, to another um, clinic elsewhere, I'm not gonna name any names, and they've had a hearing test done and been fitted for hearing aids and then been sent to have their wax removed. It just blows my mind how in any way, shape or form, are those test results gonna be accurate enough to fit a patient uh, and correct their hearing problem? It is just wrong. So guys, if you do end up going along for a hearing test somewhere and they say you need to have wax removal done, ask them why they're doing their hearing test. If there's that much wax that needs to be removed before they can fit the hearing aid, there's gonna be certainly too much to do any kind of hearing testing uh, for you as well. So sorry, I'll get off my soapbox again now. Uh, but what you've got here is we've got down to this deepest layer. Now this is actually covering the eardrum here. So the section I'm pulling on here is not uh, the bit that's over the eardrum, but it's connected to that piece. So I wanna try and give this a little bit of a wiggle. We're gonna go right down into the, into the recess as well here. Just pulling, you can see a glimpse of that eardrum just beyond. So where I said before, I can reposition with the suction tube. This is not gonna come away with suction. It's just holding on too tightly to be able to pull this off the, uh, off the canal wall. But we just need to try and reposition this. 
Guys, don't forget, if you have any hearing problems yourself, if you need your hearing tested, if you have earwax problems, anything to do with the ears, uh, check out the link tree in the description and that will take you through to our website. You can reserve an appointment online with myself or the lovely Mr. Taylor Green uh, and we can get that sorted out for you. So make sure you check that as well. If you are an audiologist and you are looking for a change in career, well, not changing career, a change in location, clinic location, by all means, check out, drop us an email. We'd love to hear from you. We're looking to try and recruit another audiologist in the clinic uh, just to help us out. We're super duper busy, so it would be really helpful for us. So make sure you check that out as well. Uh, we're getting to the end of this now. We're just loosening this top section. This is the fine end on here. I'm pulling down uh, on this skin to try and uncover this eardrum here. Oh, don't forget, sorry, I forgot to mention, guys, if you do enjoy the videos, like, share, like, share heart, follow, subscribe. Boom, boom. There you go. Thank you very much. Uh, so we're getting to this last little bit. Nearly there. A little bit more. There we go. We got our first glimpse of the eardrum beyond. So check top left corner as we pull this down. There's your eardrum, that grey blue. Look how this is peeling off that drum. So this patient would have been having some you know, real difficulty with their hearing. They were aided currently anyway, uh, but they would have had some real, real problems uh, because that eardrum would have become so stiff with all this sitting on top of it. Let's give this a little bit more of a pull. There we are, look at that, how it peels off the canal wall, right down into the base of the canal, look, there you go. And now we've just got this piece here, just into the recess on this right hand side that needs to come away. So we're just gonna reposition this using the fine end again. I'm trying to pull it, you can see there, I'm trying to pull this away. It just does not wanna come off. You've got that really thin, uh, almost like matrix underneath it, which is holding this to the canal wall. There we go, I've just broken through that. I'm trying to peel it out. It's always difficult, these ones, because it's just such a flat piece, but it's so hard, it just wants to return back to its normal position. So look at this now, we've got a good grip on the top. Look how this peels off the drum. It's pulling out of the recess. There you go, it's disconnected, out that comes. So that patient hearing a lot better. They still needed some hearing aids, but certainly hearing a lot better than they were when they came in. Out that comes there, just a little bit here, just on the right hand side, this very thin, thin layer of, uh, of fresher skin underneath here, we just need to remove. I'm just gonna drop over the top, peel it back, there we go. Eardrum doesn't look particularly pretty, but it's had this stuck to it, but look how much we removed. Now don't forget, this gent had his ear cleaned out six weeks ago, and we have five centimeters just over two inches worth of dead skin that came away from that canal wall as well. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching our video again today. I'm not going to make any promises about when I'll be able to upload again. Uh, it depends on our workload here. But we will see you again soon. Fingers crossed me and the lovely Mr. Taylor Green will be on your screens again soon, guys. Uh, but as always, take care of yourselves, take care of your ears, and take care of one another. And we'll see you soon. Bye, everyone.